Okay, so uh, we talked about the shelf. We talked about the types. Um, now we should probably get in and start to talk about the brush itself and the modifiers inside the brush. Uh, and then we can get into the alphas. So I'm going to open up a tray. Brush palette's already there. A couple of things to know about working with the brush palette. Most importantly is this R, which means restore configuration. So as you work with the brushes, they get added, and they start to drop your palette down, and that's a bit of a problem. So you can always just press R, and it'll go back to this default. They're all still there. It's just they're not taking up all of your space in the palette. Okay. So let's go ourselves into the standard brush. Talk about this from the basic level. Let's just walk through this. A lot of these have to do with brush size at kind of a medium size here. Okay, that's a simple stroke. Let's go into curve. Let's edit this curve. And let's change it like this. I'm just clicking this point and dragging it. And now I'm getting a much different behavior. It's almost like what we saw depth do. Because this is kind of a precursor to depth. And basically it's saying that, I mean this is a line, this is a, how do we do it? Let's say this is pressure. That's not pressure, this has to be pressure. Brush pressure and brush effect. So with no pressure you get no effect. With lots of pressure you get maximum effect. With a little bit of pressure you're gonna get you know kind of a, a little bit of effect. One thing to keep in mind is that um, Pixelogic, uh, how do I say it, it pre-processes the curves. Your ne a linear curve, like straight point to point, isn't really off. It's not really going to behave in the way that you expect it. It has to do with the math, and I had this explained to me, um, but the explanation was quite involved. My brain was not ready for it. <laughs> Basically, our expectations of a linear behavior is mathematically represented by you know a nonlinear curve so in order for the brush to behave the way we expect it it actually has to be more you know a little bit a little bit um, processed so anyways you can see that this brush it doesn't have any effect until the point at which I've got maximum pressure or maximum amount of effect, so to speak, of the brush. So now let's change this. I'm going to drag this line way out and do that again. And now the behavior is even more. It's almost like it's becoming an inflate brush. You're really defining the curve, how it pulls out. You could think, think of it as you're defining this, so to speak. Okay, this can have multiple effects. We can, with almost no brush pressure, we could instantly have effects. That's important, excuse me, that's important if you're dealing with brush pressure. So for example, I'm going to go very lightly and then step on and it's already at a certain size so to speak let's see if this works I'm gonna lower that try to imitate the same 
and it's a little bit more pushed no matter what my pressure is a little bit more pushed this brush this uh, behavior so to speak uh, is really important for the move brush so let me switch over there to the move brush you can see the curve and let's not adjust this at all let's not let's leave the curve as it is but we're going to make another change. We're going to turn AccuCurve on and draw out a point. That is one of the fastest, easiest ways I, I know of to get a hard, pointy edge. So if the edge is not behaving the way you want, you just pull that out and it works very, very well. Watch what happens when I do that with AccuCurve off. Totally different. So you don't adjust curve terribly often, but there are instances in which it's very useful uh, to do that. Let's take a look at another brush, Damien Standard Brush, right here. You can see the base type is standard brush. You'll notice the alpha. Pretty average curve. Accu curve is not on. But you get an effect that you'd almost expect to get with Accu curve. In fact, Let's set this up a little better. Let's turn AccuCurve on for the standard brush. Increase my Z intensity. So AccuCurve was a lot like taking that curve and really ramping it up like we did here. It does a similar thing when we turn AccuCurve on for the standard brush. But let's go back to Damien standard brush. It's not on. And let's press Alt and see the result that we get. So this result is kind of similar to this result that we have with Damien standard brush. But Damien standard brush does not use AccuCurve. What's the difference between Damien Standard Brush and the Standard Brush? What do you guys think? Okay, so Brush Modifier and Alpha. Let's just set the Brush Modifier to zero. That still has a pretty awesome effect. I'm going to press Alt. Still a better brush than standard. So that alpha is really, really, really important. Incredibly important, in fact. Um, but you can get close to that alpha by adjusting the curve. In fact, that was the two ways that you adjusted the shape pre ZBrush 3. You would adjust the alpha, you'd adjust the curve, and hopefully get the shape right. Damien Standard Brush is really an important brush uh, because we didn't do it when I was at Pixelogic. It came out of the blue, and everybody was really shocked at, at just what a difference that alpha made. That alpha made a world of difference. Much more than the brush, than the curves itself. But what does modifiers do? Because modifiers is by default set at like 32.
If you hover over, it's supposed to pinch, right? That's what they say. So it'll tell you that's pretty standard. But this is one of those things that you need to be mindful with the different algorithms. Not all of them play with brush modifier well, and not all of them uh, do what's expected. So this is one of those uh, really significant variables where things really start to change. Now they do say that for all other brushes, it's a it's elevation. Okay, let's put that to the test. Let's go back to blob. Let's set my elevation. You know, let's do it over here. I have elevation set to that, and let's go negative. So there is an effect. And let's see if we are able to. Yeah, but see, things get weird here. So there's an effect, but it's not necessarily explainable across the board. OK. Now is when my brain gives in a little bit. We were just talking about curves. Curve by pin, zero curve, pin curve. Okay, a lot of these are very, how do I say it? Um, they're really nuanced. Okay, you're going to find, I don't want to get into them right now because they're not going to make a major difference. But where I would wrap them is also with this tablet pressure. And tablet pressure I do want to try to get to today. Okay, let's refresh this guy. <clears throat> 